In this video, we will focus on drawing structures of carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids are organic acids with carboxyl functional group. The first member of carboxylic homologous series has one carbon. It is called methanoic acid. The second member has two carbons. We call it ethanoic acid. The third member has three carbons and it is called propanoic acid. The fourth has four carbons. It is called butanoic acid. How do we draw the structures of carboxylic acids? Now when we show all the bonds between the atoms in the molecule, we are writing down the full structure formula of the organic compound. This is carbon in the periodic table. It has six electrons and it will use its four outermost electrons for bonding to achieve a stable number gas octet electronic configuration. This is hydrogen in the periodic table. It has only one electron in its first shell. It needs one more electron to achieve stable number gas duplex electronic configuration. This is oxygen in the periodic table. It has eight electrons and it will share two of its outermost electrons with other non-metal atoms to achieve stable number gas octet electronic configuration. Now all members in the carboxylic acid homologous series have carboxyl group. They will use this functional group for chemical reactions. The first member, methanoic acid, has one carbon. There is already one carbon in the carboxyl functional group. We do not need to add more carbon for methanoic acid. Now this carbon will share its last unpaired valence electron with hydrogen. Now all the atoms have achieved stable number gas electronic configuration. Carbon and oxygen now have eight outermost electrons, while hydrogen has two. When we write the full structural formula, we do not need to draw the electron shell or draw dot and cross to represent the electrons. When drawing the structure, we use a dash which represents a bond between two sharing electrons in a covalent molecule. Hence, one bond means the sharing of two electrons. So now, we replace each of the electron pair with a bond. The bond highlighted green is called a double bond. Four electrons are shared, hence forming two bonds. The bond highlighted yellow is called a single bond. It is made by sharing of two electrons. Here you go, this is the structure of methanoic acid. Next, we have ethanoic acid, which has two carbons. There's already one carbon in the carboxyl functional group. We just need to add one more carbon for ethanoic acid. Now there are two carbons. The carbons will then fulfill the octet rule by using its remaining electrons to form bonds with hydrogen. This is the dot and cross diagram of ethanoic acid. Let's replace each electron pair with a bond. There you go, we have achieved the structure of ethanoic acid. What about propanoic acid, which has three carbons? Similarly, there is one carbon in the carboxyl functional group. We just need to add two more carbons. Now there are three carbons in total. The carbons will then fulfill the octet rule by using its remaining electrons to form bonds with hydrogen. This is the dot and cross diagram of propanoic acid. Let's replace each electron pair with a bond. There you go, we have achieved the structure of propanoic acid. What about butanoic acid, which has four carbons? There's one carbon in the carboxyl functional group. We just need to add three more carbons. Now there are altogether four carbons in this acid. The carbons will then fulfill the octet rule by using its remaining electrons to form bonds with hydrogen. This is the dot and cross diagram of butanoic acid. Let's replace each electron pair with a bond. There you go, we have achieved the structure of 
butanoic acid. If you look at each of these carboxylic acids, you should notice carbon always form four bonds, oxygen always form two bonds, while hydrogen always form one bond. When you are familiar with structure drawing of organic compounds, you should not need to depend on dot and cross diagram to achieve the full structure formula of organic compounds to save time. Practice more and you'll be more confident in writing full structure formula of organic compound. Now if you find this video useful, like the chemistry learning video and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.